Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, Chapter 42. Uh, when we last left our heroes, uh, Team 7 uh, retreated from the fight with Boro uh, to discuss their next move. They learned that Boro fought using viruses created by scientific ninja tools, so the karma could not suck it up. Um, but they came up with a counter plan, because Mitsuki had kind of uh, suspected this, so he had taken a bit of Boro's blood that had antibodies... Uh, against the virus, so that they could be immune to the poison. Um, also, Sarada was dubbed Team Captain uh, of the new Team 7, uh, minus Konohamaru plus Kabuki. Um, and then the gang got Boro on the ropes, a powered-up uh, Rasengan with Boruto and Kawaki took out like the top half of Boro's body, but he quickly regenerated it and went to go strike uh, the tea kettle where Naruto is sealed, and Kawaki is chasing after him. And that's where we left off in Chapter 41, so let's take a look at Chapter 42, Regeneration. Our cover here has this really interesting um, style going on, with this really, like, metal frame around the image that we've never really seen before. Um, and our picture is Boruto with his, with his karma activated, uh, with a red headband, which I don't think we've ever seen in him before. Also, his jacket and pants are mostly brown in this image, uh, instead of the usual black, which means that it might just be a weird thing with the color scheme. Um, possibly. I'm not sure. Anyway, we open right where we left off with um, Boro lunging for the tea kettle with Kawaki right behind him. Um, we see Boro reaches for it. Bastard! Kawaki! Boruto and Sarada also chase after Kawaki. Um, Boro smirks and like jumps up and over the tea kettle. Uh, and he starts to release the virus again, which I'm not sure if that that shouldn't affect Team 7, because they should be immune to the virus thanks to the antibodies, but maybe it will go inside the tea kettle and affect Naruto? I'm not sure. Another virus attack? Stubborn bastard. Uh, and Boruto's getting confident here. Heh, <laughs> doesn't he realize it won't work? Uh, but Sarada's thinking about something. Uh, and Boro lets loose these two uh, shuriken. Followed by Shuriken. Uh, and Kawaki does a little thing he does with his arm. Give me a break. Uh, and the Shuriken get lodged inside his arm thing. Uh, and then they release this smoke screen. Huh? It exploded. That gun oh, it's not a smoke screen. It's just a straight up explosion. He makes gunpowder in with the virus he scattered? Which ignited and went off and the Shuriken struck his arm. Oh, that is clever. Uh, and yeah, we see that, uh, that Kawaki is... Worse for wear, thanks to the, the explosion. Uh, but he's now guarding Naruto's tea kettle. Uh, we see, like, resting one arm on the, on the kettle. You got hit with an unexpected attack, but you still move to protect the Hokage first. You've changed, Kawaki. It's truly sad to see. Ugh. And Kawaki slumps over right as the rest of Team 7 reaches him. Kawaki! He's totally despicable. He used our sense of security by the virus not working against us. Uh, and Boruto runs up to him. Stop pushing yourself so hard. You're going to die for real. Quit worrying. This is nothing. I'll heal right away. You've gone soft, Kawaki. I think hanging out with hanging out with snotty brats has made you weak. We're going to have to retrain you from scratch when you get home. Hey, geezer. Kawaki's a citizen of Konoha now. He ain't going back with any of you. Aw, no need to feel lonely. I'll take you along too, karma brat. I'm done talking to you. You senile bastard! Come on, Mitsuki! And the two of them rush at Boro. Uh, and Boruto goes in for a punch that Boruto blocks. Uh, the Boro blocks. Their names are Boruto and Boro. That was, there was a mistake somewhere along here. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Mitsuki goes in for a kick as Boruto readies a Rasengan. Rasengan! Uh, and Bor Boro moves his arm as if to catch the Rasengan. And the Rasengan takes out... Boro's arm, uh, like, it's just kind of scattered to the wind. But, you know, he can regenerate, so it's not a big deal. Yeah! Boruto seemingly forgot about that. He, like, cheers right as the arm regrows. Uh, uh, and then, like, Dex Boruto. Uh, Boruto's sent flying. Gah! Uh, Mitsuki comes in for another kick. Uh, but Boro grabs Mitsuki's leg and flings him to the ground. Gah! Uh, and Kawaki starts to get up as, uh, Sarada runs in. I need to be careful about the gunpowder. No fire or lightning-style jutsu. 
Uh, and she throws some shuriken at Boro. Um, but Boro has what looks like fire style jutsu that will set off that gunpowder. Lava style, damn it! Uh, and but Miyuki goes at him with a snake uh, that binds Boro up. Uh, and then Kawaki appears right in front of him, uh, and with his karma powered arm, puts his hand right up against Boro's chest. Uh, and we see, like, the this part of his hand starts to glow. Uh, Boro looks down at it. Die! Uh, and he just lets out this gigantic, like, laser beam at Boro that takes out, basically, from his, like, chest area down. Um, and Boro is sent flying. Miski, Miski's hand is let go. Uh, and Boro falls to the ground. Uh, the rest of the group... All looks at his collapsed body, or what's left of his body. Do we do it? Uh, and his arm starts to starts to shake. There's a clomp sound effect. I'm not sure what exactly that's supposed to symbolize. Um, and we hear this goo 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 sound coming from from Boro, and his legs have regenerated. Thankfully, they, he also regenerated his pants, um, or mostly. Not entirely, actually. He just has, like, a little part of his body that's black instead of white. Um, so it actually does not look like clothing at all. He's just completely nude. Um, I think that's part of part of the, the face seal. It also runs down his torso and his legs. Uh, but anyway, as he regenerates, Boruto looks at him. He really is a freaking monster. You just noticed. Not the brightest, are you? Damn it, this is endless. Even if we had infinite chakra, it still wouldn't be enough. What are we supposed to do? Um, Kawaki calls Boruto, Mitsuki. Do me a favor and buy me a little bit of time. Even just a single minute. On um, the two of them look back at him. Huh? Um, Boro lunges at them. Uh, ready, ready to start the fight anew. Ugh. You got a plan? I'm counting on you, bro. Shadow clone jutsu! Uh, for some reason, it's translated as Shadow Doppelgangers, as, as if there's not been a set translation since 2005. Um, but who's to say? Anyway, Boruto sends the Shadow, shadow Clones to, um, to attack Boro. Um, they all go in for various kicks and punches against him. Um, and, uh, Kawaki turns to Sarada. At this rate, it's only a matter of time before we all run out of chakra. Before Boro does. That's what he's aiming for. We've got no chance of winning as long as he's got that crazy regenerative ability. But, there is a way of neutralizing this. So I was going to complain that he had left Sarada out of his uh, distract Boro plan, but it looks like uh, Sarada is actually going to be a part of his defeat Boro plan, which is much better. Uh, anyway, Mietsuki does his snake arms thing into the ground, it looks like. Oh, yeah, because now all these snakes are shown up surrounding Boro, striking Shadow Snake Assault. Um, they start chomping down on Boro's uh, limbs, uh, but I think it looks like the, the, the virus is being exuded from these vent-looking things on, um, not on here, it's around here, his, uh, on, his, on his chest. Um, oh, it's the gunpowder poison, of course, because he then uses a, a fire-style or lava-style jutsu to explode it. Wah! And um, the Boros and Shadow Clones are thrown back. Uh, back with Sarada. Neutralizes regenerative ability? How? All members of Kara have, their, have had their bodies remodeled by this guy named Amado, including me. Amado's a genius, but even his technical skills have a limit. That's the key. Uh, and Sarada looks at him. The ability to regenerate one's head or torso is amazing, but... The downside to scientific ninja tools is that the more powerful they are, the bigger they've got to be. There has to be a core, at least the size of a heart, somewhere inside him. A core? But there isn't any part of Boro that's not been destroyed already. So unless that core can move around, they should have already gotten it. Which means they can probably move around. That's, prob that's probably the answer. Anyway, a core? Um, and Boro then, like, gets in a punch on Boruto. Uh, that, or one of the Shadow Clones that, uh, that poofs. But another Boruto... Uh, still there, ready to ready to fight again. You persistent little snots. Uh, meanwhile, back with the, the strategy meeting. In short, if we destroy this core, being taken down and you won't regenerate? Are you sure? I swear to it. That degree of regeneration is impossible with a giant core. That's Amado's shortcoming. It's just, the issue is where the core might be. 
Uh, and then he punches, and then we cut back and Boros just punched Boruto. Uh, Boruto is still standing, but like really beat up. Hold on, you've already blown up his head, his upper body, and his lower body. If he really does have a core, it should have, been, should have already been destroyed, no? He's got to have one somewhere. Just look real closely and find it, using that Sharingan of yours. Wah! And with that, Kawaki goes back into the battle. Kawaki, wait! Uh, and Kawaki does his little little creepy arm thing and, like, slices at Boro, who, like, backs out of the way. Find his core? Does he really even have something like that? Uh, and Boro, like, knees Kawaki in the gut. Um, but Mitsuki ready the lightning style. Snake lightning! Uh, and Boro sees it uh, and sends the gunpowder out to, uh, to start an explosion with that. Wah! Mitsuki! Forget him, Sarda. Focus! Uh, and Boro goes in for, tries to, like, kick out, uh, or Boruto goes in to kick out Boro's leg from under him. Ha! Ugh! And Boro falls over, uh, and Kawaki grabs his head. Uh, and, but Boro does some kind of jutsu, uh, right as his head is exploded by, by, uh, Kawaki in that same laser beam from earlier. Uh, and Boro falls to the ground and gets right back up, his head regenerating. He's getting back up. Keep attacking his body. Um, we see Sardis thinking, right after he wove the signs, it looked like some muscles rippled just slightly, as if something moved inside his body. Could that have been... Uh, and Bo uh, Boro is starting to, starting to get back up. No! I won't let you! And um, he does another another sign, and we see the same rippling muscles uh, that Sarda noticed earlier. Slight movement of the muscles. Something is migrating within his body. And that's what weaving those signs was for. Uh, and Boruto hits him with a Rasengan uh, that takes out uh, his left shoulder. Uh, but of course, it's just regenerating again. Uh, and he stands, you know, fully um, uninjured. That was my last Rasengan. I don't have enough chakra left for more. Damn it. Uh, Mitsuki is also starting to like feel the wear and tear um, of this long battle. What's the matter? You're all starting to waver. Shall we bring things to a close? Uh, and Sarada focuses her showering on where she last saw the muscles ripple. His right flank. No mistake. That's where his core is right now. But now what? Even if I tell Kawaki and the others, once Boro catches on that they know, he'll just move it again. Which would waste all our efforts. So that means I've got to do it myself. Oh yeah, it's time for Sarada to take the lead here. Uh, and Boruto gets a quick kick in the gut from Boro. Grrr! Um, uh, Kawaki is also sent flying. Uh, but Sarada runs into battle, still in the impractical ninja heels. Again, girl, just take them off. Take off the heels. They're not suitable for the terrain, for ninja combat, for combat in general. I'm gonna keep harping on this because it's really weird. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. It's one of those things where I wonder if Ikemoto has, like, ever met a human woman before. Because that's just not how heels work. <laughs> you, why? Why? Why is that the thing? I don't know. Uh, anyway, back to actually focus on the chapter itself. Gotta think. Neither the fireball nor the phoenix blossom can penetrate his body. And just like with the others, as soon as he sees me aiming for his flank, he'll move his core. And he's too smart for me to spring a surprise attack on him. Come on, Sarada. If only there was a, an attack that I knew that's faster than he can weave signs. Wait! Um, and then Boro goes in for another punch on Boruto. There is. Just one, but a jutsu that can pierce his core. Whether he notices my aim or not. Because it's faster than weaving signs. A jutsu I'm still practicing. I haven't tested it in real battle yet. I might not be able to pull it off. Wait a second... Faster jutsu, super challenging jutsu to the point where Sarada is still practicing it. Is this going to be a Chidori? No, there, it wouldn't. Would it? Could it be? I think it might be a Chidori. Um, and Mitsuki looks over at Sarada, and she activates her, her three tumble by Sharingan. But I've got to try. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yes. There's that lightning hand. Isn't that... Old Man, this is a Boruto who noticed her. Old Man Sasuke's! Uh, and Boro goes to weave his sign, but he can't. She's too fast. D 
Dad, lend me strength. Chidori! And she runs through his side. Next chapter hits February 20th. All right. This was great. Um, of course it was. The manga is amazing. Um, yeah, ooh, where to begin? I mean, there's another battle chapter, of course. Um... Uh, so, so it's at that high Boruto battle chapter standard, uh, and it meets it. It meets it. It, uh, it has both the great kinetic taijutsu action that Boruto does really well. You know, there's always a physical impact to every hit, especially when, like, the, the large parts of the chapter where Boro is just, like, decking all of the, all of Team 7, like, left and right. Like, that shit hits, and I cannot wait for the anime to get here. Um, especially if, you know, anime is starting to get to Mujina, uh, which has kind of been the implication of next episode. Um, we're on our way to this part of the story, and I cannot wait for it. Um, anyway, yeah. So we have that great fight. There isn't really a whole lot of strategy on Boruto and Mitsuki's side, just because, like... They're just trying to keep him distracted for a little while, and it's mostly working, as his, you know, body keeps getting destroyed and rebuilt and destroyed and rebuilt and destroyed and rebuilt again and again and again and again. Uh, but finally, um, Sarada is told by Kawaki about the cores, and she finds it, and she goes for it. And she hits. I think Boro is done. I think Boro, um will die early next issue, uh, which does kind of bring in several questions, uh, especially because I have been taking Naruto getting sealed away in the kettle to be um, the reference to where I sent the seventh uh, in the opening flash forward. Uh, but if Boro dies here and they just take the tea kettle, then, I mean, maybe they don't have the strength to unseal... Naruto, uh, because only, only Jigen slash Ishiki knows how to do it. Uh, so maybe that will explain why Naruto is not freed three or four years from now. Um, but just focusing on the present, this is a great chapter with little to talk about, just because of, you know, um, it's a fight. It's a really good fight, and we get some good in instances of, um, of Sarada, you know, really thinking everything through. Uh, so it's great to read, um, but there's not a whole lot to talk about. Uh, so yeah, I love the shit out of this chapter. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave this video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, don't forget to drop me a like or subscribe or, you know, do whatever makes you happy, you know? And remember, your life is your own, okay? Bye!